Hello everybody, this is Josh from Ag2Go. Today we're going to be going over firmware updates on a GFX display. So I have with me a GFX 350 and an AV900, uh, but you could do this same process with a GFX 750 and an AV500 or any combination of the two. So first thing is we're going to go to www.ag2go.com, A-G-T-O-G-O.com. I'm going to go to Precision Ag Hardware, and then down to Firmwares and Manuals. This will be where you can find any cabling diagrams, user manuals, and firmware for your display. So we are going to go for the 1.60.1 .1 firmware. We're already at 1.60.00 firmware. So I'm going to click that. And then you can see up at the top, this is our root folder. This is what we're currently looking at. And then here's all the contents of the folder along the left-hand side. We don't need to individually download any of these. We're currently on the root folder at the top. So we will just go all the way over to the right and hit download and then direct download. Once we hit direct download, uh, you can go down to one of your folders and see it up here. I'm going to right click that and copy it. And then we're going to go over to our USB drive that's plugged in. And we're going to paste it. I've already got it here, but you would right click and then paste. Once that's on there, you can exit out. And then in the bottom right hand corner, there is a little arrow here. And you might already have this on your taskbar, but you can hit this little USB button to safely remove any hardware. When you click that and tell it you want to eject the USB, it basically just allows you to eject the USB safely without any um, corruption. So once that's downloaded, we're going to take that USB stick and plug it into the back of our GFX. and we're gonna click on Precision IQ, just so I can show you the current firmware. There's a diagnostics button over here to the left. When you click on that, that will show you all of the hardware currently connected to your display. So I have a NAV 900 and it'll tell us our current firmware versions. So I'm currently on 1.60.000. We can swipe up from the bottom and hit the home button for the display. This will take us out of Precision IQ, out of whatever app you're in, and bring you right back to the home screen. And then for this update, we're going to want to go into App Central. This is where you can download any apps. I uh, downloaded TeamViewer on this display, uh, but you can download any apps you'd like and also update firmware. So in the bottom right, there's this little plus button. We're gonna click that. And then we're gonna click our uh, SD card. And then this will show us our USB drive. Uh, we're looking for this zip folder right here. We're going to click on that. And it's going to ask us, do you want to uh, upload this firmware and reboot the display? We're going to say reboot. This will take several minutes. It's going to basically power down the display, power back up, update the firmware on the display, and also update the firmware on the receiver. It'll go through all of those cycles and then refresh your screen and should be good to go. I have seen this come up with a couple errors sometimes. Um, and if you do this process once or twice or even sometimes three times, um, it, will, it will reboot and update the firmware like it should. Thank you very much for watching this. If anybody has any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to us on our website um, or give us a call. Thank you very much.
Have a good day.